everyone, hope you're for in my mailbox. So this week, I didn't get too much for review. This was like a book mooch week. Like I got a bunch of stuff from book mooch. But the one book I did get for review was Shine Coconut Moon by um, Nisha Memminger. I was really excited when I got this from Pulsa to review because I really wanted to read this one and um, it's it sounds really good and from talking with Nisha, like we did the interview and stuff so I was in contact with her and um, it just, it sounds really good so I can't wait to um, read this for Pulsa. And then from the book spot that Carol started, I got... The Dust of a Hundred Dogs to Borrow from Sarah. I can't, oh, I can't wait to read this one. I think I'm going to read this book next. Just because I wanted to read it and I was going to buy it when um, me and Katie and Kate went book shopping. But, well, Barnes & Noble didn't have it. And let's just say that made me very angry and we'll leave it at that. So I can't wait to read this one. And then I also got Outside Beauty by Cynthia Cato... Hot tub from Sarah. This one is to keep, and um, I heard some good things about this one and some not so good things. But I've always wanted to read it, and so I saw it on her list and I got it. And again, Sarah is amazing. It always sends me orange note cards. Love orange note cards. Then from Christy, I got um, Taken by Storm by Angela Morrison. Thank you, Christy. I'm really excited to read this. It was funny because my grandma stopped by our mailbox when she picked me, or brought me home from my vocal lesson yesterday, Friday. And she was, I was opening the second package, and I had this one, and she kind of took it, was reading back, and she was like, oh, cool, it's told in, like, I am and chat logs and stuff. So I just thought that was a funny story that I'd share because my grandma can be funny that way. And then... One I'm also really excited to read is Stargazer by Claudia Gray. Um, this one came from Karen, so thank you, Karen. Um, I can't wait to read this one. I loved Evernight, and oh my goodness, I just, I can't wait to read it. And also, whenever Karen sends me a book, she sends me a bookmark, and look at this one. This is like the coolest bookmark ever, so... Yeah, just thank you for the bookmark here, and I love them. Then, from Book Mooch this week, I got The Vampire Diaries, The Awakening and the Struggle by L.J. Smith. Um, I've heard good things about this series, so when I saw this up, when I saw this up on Book Mooch, I got it. So, yep. And also, oh my goodness, I have wanted to read this book forever. But I could never find it anywhere. Like, I'm not even kidding. Um, the Earth, My Butt, and Other Big Round Things by Carolyn Mackler. I've always wanted to read this dang book, but never found it. And then I saw it, and I was like, oh, mooch this book now. So, it came to see. Also, Model by Cheryl Diamond. Um, isn't that a pretty dress? I like the dress. But I've heard good things about this one. So I got that. Um, the Anatomy of Wings by Karen Foxley from um, Christy. Thanks, Christy. Um, this one, I have heard some bad things about it, but I want to see if they're true. So I got it anyway. So, The Anatomy of Wings. Leftovers by Laura Weiss. Um, this looks kind of sad. But I hope it's not really sad. I've read lots of sad books lately, but I hope this one isn't, like, really, really sad. Because that would be sad. And then the last book I got this week was Learning to Swim by Cheryl Clam. Um, it looked kind of cute, and so I got it because everyone can use a cute book every once in a while. And then, also this week, not a book, but um, I got a postcard from Washington, D.C. from Liv. Um, Liv went there for spring break this week, and isn't it a pretty postcard? Apparently, my parents went to Washington, D.C. Well, actually, I went too, but I was like two, so I don't remember it. 
Like, they took all the good chips when I was, like, little and can't remember them. So I told them that we have to go back sometime. Also, today, being Saturday, obviously Twilight came out today. And my mommy got it for me when I was, um, I actually had to take the ACT plan this morning at school. And so when I came back, they had it on the TV all ready to go. And then I came in my room when it was over. And this poster, this one down here, it was like on my computer. And I was like, no way. And so I hung it up right when I saw it. And then you're going to be proud of me. I'm just going to show you because I just finished doing this. And it's amazing because my room is like so clean now. So know how I've been stacking books on the floor? Like over in this area? Yeah, you, you see how they're not there anymore? That's because I took all the books that are on this bottom bookshelf here, the ones I've already read, and they're in boxes. Oh yeah, they're in boxes all in the bottom of my closet. Like all my shoes used to be there. But I put them in this pink thing over here. So, like, all my shoes are in this pink thing. And all my books are down here in boxes. There's, like, three boxes. And then all the books I've already read, or all the books that I haven't read yet that were sitting on the floor are in this row. And then there's a row behind it. It's, like, amazing. Like, my room, it's, like, because my room isn't, it's not that it's small. It's just that I have a lot of stuff in here. And so, like, it just, it opens my room up with all the books not sitting on the floor over here. So that just made me happy. And I thought I'd show you because my room looks pretty and clean now. So.